Hey guys, what's up? It's John here again today from Toxic Spikes, coming at you with another narrated Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. Um, today we're going to go back do some more RU. Uh, I was having a lot of fun messing around with that trick room, and so I took a crack at making an actual serious team with uh, Metagross. Now, <laughs> funny story about this is literally a day after recording the last video, I was like, all right, I want to make a team really utilizing like the monsters that dropped into RU. I'm going to use Metagross. I'm going to use Darmanitan. I go, boom, Darmanitan's already quick banned one day. I was wrong. My speculation was wrong. Darmanitan is way too much for the tier to handle. I personally didn't have a lot of problems with him because I was using Trick Room, but I can see how he's just not healthy for the tier because when you basically, I mean, I was, I was looking at some damage calcs and he, a banded Flare Blitz two hit KOs Blastoise a Mega Blastoise too well if you I'll have to actually check if it was Mega Blastoise or if it was between the damage on regular Blastoise on the switch and then the Mega Evolution to be enough for a two hit KO either way that's ridiculous because at that point there's one reliable check to him in a tier <laughs> and that's Milotic so unless every team wants to be packing a Milotic solely because they might have a Darmanitan uh, we needed to get rid of of Derman. I you know, I always want to call him Hee Hee Daruma too, because I still I remember playing in the, the very early days of, of black and white when things hadn't been translated yet and we were still calling them by their Japanese names. So I always think of Darmanitan as Hee Hee Daruma. I always think of Conkeldur as Robushin, and I always think of Landorus as Randorosu. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get into the battle here. Uh we've got a steel dragon fairy core with Florigus. Flygon and Metagross. Will this be the first video where I have a recorded loss? Maybe. This guy's team looks pretty good. I'm actually, you know, I'm not normally like a fan of RU, but I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm in like the 1300 ELO bracket. And for those of you who don't know, 1300 ELO is way different than 1300 ELO in the OU bracket because in the lower tiers, there's a smaller player base and the spread is a lot different. Like the highest. RU players probably around 17, 1800 ELO, whereas the highest OU player is like 2300 ELO or something, and that's just because there's so many more players in that bracket. Um, so 1300 in this is actually pretty legit. Well, I don't want to make myself out to be too legit, but you know, <laughs> I'm gonna lead off with my Metagross. I, I got a banded Metagross here. Oh, and as for my OU team, I've been really having fun with the Trick Room. I'm gonna do an OU video probably tomorrow or the day after if I'm not too busy. Uh, showcasing it. I made it all the way up to top, not just top 500. I was at, I peaked so far at 345. So I'm coming for that top 300. Maybe I'll uh, even come across some well-known names in solo queue for you guys. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, um, and I also thought about maybe just really buckling down and doing like a road, like I know like Joey on uh, Poke Aim, he does like road to to top 10 or road to one number one and OU and UU and stuff. So I was like, maybe if I can learn this tier well enough, I could try and get number one in RU, or I could at least try and get like top 100 or something. That'd be a cool goal to set. Uh, okay. So he's going to lead him with Flygon. Obviously this is a terrible situation for me. Uh, the earthquake is very obviously coming out right here. So I'm thinking I'm going to go Shaman. If he goes for U-turn, you know what? Maybe Flygon would have been better. No, okay, I go for Shaman. He's probably choiced. And if that's the case, I'm actually just going to go for the substitute, assuming he'll switch. Because if I went for Leech, Street, Leech Seed straight up, it wouldn't have hurt Roserod. See, I guess my recording... Nah, see, I, I always want to change my recording specs so you guys can see all the information of the other Pokemon. Because I know it's getting cut out a little bit here. But if I do that, then you're just going to see like a random bar up here with like half a tab of the current battle so that'd be annoying <laughs> i think it's good the way i got it so i'm just gonna go for the air slash i actually outspeed this rose rod with natural cure he will get flinched this right here is like the su superior of this tier i found but actually somehow more annoying i don't know what would possess this man to go into stack attacka but you know what Go ahead, man. Far be it from me to tell you how to live your life. I'm just going to leech seed him. And if he wants to trick room, he's actually just going to gyro ball. So this is why I call this the superior of RU. Is because I can just basically heal up everything that I'm losing via leftovers and leech seed recovery. I've seen a lot of people, surprisingly enough, trying to make like defensive stack attack sets work in this tier not something you would see in yu yu oh i got the harsh d yeah that's another great thing about shaman i love this pokemon i remember he used to be amazing in gen 4 ou 
and then he slowly fell throughout the tiers, uh, from tier to tier throughout generations. But his seed flare, because he has a, uh... you know what? I just noticed he actually doesn't even have Serene Grace. I don't know why I thought he had Serene Grace. I think maybe Shaman Sky does, but he has Natural Cure. Okay, but Seed Flare still has a, a real... Oh, he goes to Roserod, so I got outplayed there pretty hard. But I'll just go for Air Slash. I know he's going to go into Stack Attack, but that's not that big a deal. I'll actually go for the Seed Flare to punish him for going to Stack Attack. And with that .5 uh, special defense drop, he's going to be forced to switch here. I can just bully team so much with Shaman if I get them in a situation like this. Like, even if he does outspeed me, it's not a big deal. Oh, you know what? I, I'm over here talking about how I'm going to bully him, and then he uh, he owns me. Uh, well, I'm probably going to go to Blastoise, because I can't afford to eat a Fire Punch. And uh, with my Shaman, he gets the burn, too. Mm, you know what? I've got a Cleric with Flurry Whist, so it's no big deal. So, you know what I'm going to do right here? I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin, as he goes to his Toxic Croak, so... At least I get rid of his rocks. Now, I don't know. With Toxicroak, I really have no way of hurting him. But I also don't know who a good switch for him would be. Poisoning and Fighting is actually really, really good against my team. I guess Arcanine's my best bet because he's physically defensive. Going to drop his attack one stage with the Intimidate. As long as he's not a special set, he'll actually hurt himself with that Train Punch. And now here's where kind of the mind games come in. If he goes out to Roserod, then Flare Blitz, Flamethrower would kill him. I actually don't have Flare Blitz because I want this guy to be a little more bulky. I think Will-O-Wisp is my best bet here, to be honest, because I, I think he's going to Flygon. He goes to Cresselia, so Toxic would have been better there. But you know what? It's better because it's, it's still better than nothing because it negates his leftovers. And now we're going to go probably to Florgus. Usually Florgus is the guy I go to when I don't know what to do because <laughs> he's very bulky, great typing. Yeah, Shadow Ball's not going to do it. I don't know why that guy's carrying Shadow Ball. What do you think I was going <laughs> to switch into Metagross? It's weird how you're going to see this tier evolve in the, in the coming weeks as people try to figure things out, and you'll start to see coverage moves specifically for Metagross on Pokemon. Um but I'll go for that heal bill right now as he goes to his stack attack. Uh, obviously, I'm not staying in here. That would just be terrible. So I'll go to Arcanine because even a stab rock slide is not going to do a whole lot after he gets the minus one. And he goes for the toxic. What? This is crazy. But you know what? I have. That's the thing about this team is I can actually just play the long game and kind of outlast people really easily because of my Florgus. I can just constantly wish pass. Ooh, and this is even bad for him too. Because, well, no, it's not that bad because poison could seriously mess me up. So what I'll do is I will go to Arcanine here actually, get the minus one. He goes for Acid Downpour. So now if I'm Morning Sun, I'm actually, yeah, Drain Punch shouldn't kill me. It'll hurt him quite a bit because of the Rocky Helmet. And Morning Sun's going to put me at a respectable amount of HP. And I'm, kinda, I'm just going to go for Morning Sun again as he goes to Cress. Not a big deal, because I can go to Florgus and then hopefully get a heal bell, unless he makes a double switch. Right now, at this point, all I'm looking for is just some momentum. I just need to pick off one of his guys. His stack attack is low. Okay. Does a gyro ball kill me? I kind of want to run a damage calic, but I also kind of don't. <laughs> I think Metagross is going to be my momentum guy here. Yeah, so he just goes for rocks. Doesn't put a lot of development. Now, Earthquake is... This is what I love about this set. Okay, uh, Trick, if he goes out to Flygon, then Trick is going to do nothing to promote development in the game. If I go for Meteor Mash, and he goes to Flygon, this might even kill it. I don't know. It's a Yeah, it's a banded Meteor Mash. That is the true power of Metagross in the tier. This is why, like, I honestly think this drop is good for the tier. Yeah, I don't know what Roserod thinks he's going to do, but he's just going to give up. Yeah, I'll just go for Meteor Mash. Like, Hidden Power Fire is not going to kill me. As long as I don't miss my Meteor Mash. Yeah, so that's two Mons I just took out with Metagross there. And if he goes into Toxicroak, you know what? So what? He kills my he kills my Metagross. I don't care. Because now I can just go out to like Flygon. Or, I'm thinking Flygon can actually just sweep and win the game at this point. Because really, it's not like he's... Does he have Ice Punch? I don't know enough about this tier to know if he carries Ice Punch. This is one of those situations where I'm just going to find out. And uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to bluff the Choice Scarfed or Choice Banded Earthquake. And hope that he goes out to Cresselia because at a at a dragon after a dragon oh my gosh don't have ice punch he has drain punch oh I just had like a mini heart attack there but you know what this is great because earthquake is gonna sucker punch okay earthquake is definitely gonna take down his toxic croak Linoon's gonna go for the extreme speed here I know that 
Yo, I'm just going to go for that Devastating Drake. Hopefully, Extreme Speed can't kill me. It does. But the good thing about this is I can definitely take out his Linoon. You know what? It looks like Mega Blastoise can kind of just bully the rest of his team and win the game. Because, yeah, even if you go to Crest, I've got the Dark Pulse 120 base power because of Mega Launcher. Oh, my gosh. And he somehow lives that. But you know what? The Flinch, it's all good. We'll just go for a Scald here. He's going to die. There's no way he's getting Belly Drum off on Lion Oon. I outspeed and kill stack attack and one hit because of Aura Spear. Four times effective, 120 base power. Blastoise is just a monster in his mega form. Gonna go for the Aura Spear here as he just hopelessly tries to pull off that Belly Drum sweep. Get that bullshit out of here, Lion Oon. He's done. That's the game. Woo! So that's gonna put our ELO up to actually 1366, so we're pretty high. And you know what? If I go and look with the little... uh. Exclamation point rank command. I've got a 69% win rate for this with this team. So that's what impressed me. Like, for someone who doesn't know the tier very well, I'm pretty proud of that. Originally, I think I had a Rotom Mo instead of Shaman. And then I switched to Shaman because I kept losing to Shaman. And I was like, maybe he's a better Grass type. <laughs> I just like how I can annoy people with this. I've literally just won games where people have gotten so tired of me sub leech seeding them, they just gave up. <laughs> So, looking at his team, he's probably going to lead in with the Fortress, the Cloister, the Machamp. <laughs> Doesn't really narrow it down a whole lot, does it? You know what? Metagross is good against all of those guys, so... <laughs> and he does lead off a of Fortress, so you might be wondering, John, why is Metagross good against Fortress? Because I can trick. And if he stays in, he now has a useless Fortress. <laughs> And you know what? Even better, he's not going to keep rocking. He's going to switch here. And when I look at his team, his best switch is probably Cresselia. I'm just going to go for that Meteor Mash. Yeah, he goes to Slash. I was so freaking close to going for the, uh, the Zen Headbutt, and I didn't. Now I pay for it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. He's. I mean, it's pretty obvious he's going to go for a Fire-type move here. So I go to Blastoise. I have pretty good bulk, so if he goes for, like, Fire Blast... Oh, he goes for Sludge Bomb. You know, that's respectable, but after I Mega Evolve, I'll actually be able to Scald and kill this guy. The reason I have Scald on this set, believe it or not, is because of Slazzle. It's because I had so many situations where I could not kill Slazzle because I didn't have any water type moves on Blastoise. I was like, this is just unacceptable. How can a water type be losing to a fire type? He's going to go out to his Cloister. I am not going to give him the opportunity to go for a Shell Smash and sweep. I don't know. I don't think Cloisters like to do that as much in RU. I could be wrong. I know that's like a popular Ubers and sometimes a cheesy OU strat. But an Aura Spear will drop this guy. So he's forced to go for... I actually outspeed Cloister. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you guys, this the title of this video, nah, I don't know if I want to make it clickbait, just like, <laughs> is, should Mega Blastoise be suspected for OU? <laughs> Stay tuned. So, like, when you look at my options here, I could go for Rapid Spin and get rid of the rocks, which is really helpful, or I could go for Skull and get a little chip on Ampharos. I'm just going to go for the Rapid Spin. Ampharos is so slow, that's really what's holding this guy back. But yeah, he goes for the the pivot, so really all he accomplishes there is he gains no momentum, and I got rid of two Mons with my Mega Blastoise, and Rapid Spin his rocks away. And when you think about it, he's really only got three Pokemon left, because his Fortress is useless since I tricked him a Choice Band, and one of them is Cresselia. <laughs> Gonna go out to Fortress here. Wrong move, brother. Wrong move. <laughs> Why is this the wrong move? Because I'm just thinking like who, how I want to bully him. I'm just going to go to Arcanine. Because you know what? I'll just go for the uh, the Will-O-Wisp. Because I know he's got Sturdy. So if I go for Flamethrower, it's just going to bring him down anyways. So I might as well Will-O-Wisp him. Make it so he's just that level of useless. Now, So he gets one layer of spikes. Not a big deal. So yeah, now he's really only got three guys left. Oh my gosh, I was like, I'm probably going to lose this video. It's going to break the streak, but here we are. I'll, I'll Toxic this Crest. I carry Will-O-Wisp and Toxic. This Arcanine set is literally designed so that he'll just be a pain in the ass. Psyshock does almost no damage to me because I'm physically bulky. I think he knows he lost. Like, if I was him, I'd just surrender. I know it sounds kind of like asshole-ish of me to say that, but come on, man. I just go to Shaman here so I can start with my shenanigans, my substitute shenanigans. Go out to whoever you want, especially, you know, especially go to my champ. That way I can just flex on that boy with Air Slash. Heals for Toxic. Wouldn't have mattered anyways because I have Natural Cure, as I discovered this video. <laughs> and I'll go for the Leech Seed here. 
He goes for Psy Shock. And I think at this point, I can actually just start spamming the Air Slash. Oh, the 5% miss chance. Mm, that does not need to exist in the game. It actually triggers me so much that that move has a 5% chance to miss. If you ask me, no move in this game should be a 95% accuracy. Because when you think about it, accuracy is used to balance out the high power of a move. If they decided that the 30% flinch chance was enough to, uh, you know, add on the negative uh, accuracy drop, then at least make it like, like 90%. Dude, make it 80%. Nothing should be 90 or 95% chance to miss. Because otherwise, you just always end up feeling cheated. Okay, he's going to go Moonlight. He's just kind of stalling the inevitable here, because look at the amount of toxic damage he's taking. He's at 8%. That's the only downside to this, this Shaman set, is you always have a chance of missing your offensive moves, albeit a small one. So now I have a sub up. He's probably going to go to Ampharos. Okay, Machamp is the wrong play. I'll tell you that right now. Even my Leech Seed has a chance to miss. <laughs> this is like the most triggering set in the world. He'll get uh, the burn. So this is a Guts Machamp. It's weird seeing Guts Machamp. Because I remember like back in the OU days. It was all about the No Guard. Lumberry anti-lead. It's just not the same. <laughs> it's weird seeing this Machamp. So he's going to go down. Shaman's doing his job. This little Chia Pet guy. <laughs> sad no one plays him anymore uh <laughs> i feel like no one really plays ru i see a lot of people playing uh uu a lot of people play ou i you i really don't see a lot of popular youtubers playing ru and you or pu like every now and then something will get suspected for the tier and like you know like pokey aim or someone will like try out like i know mega glalie dropped recently so they're yeah, look at me just playing so reckless here because i can afford to <laughs> this is the slowest guy in the world <laughs> Every now and then, people will try out. Like, I know, like, Mega Glalie dropped recently, so Joey did a video where he's like, I wonder if this guy's going to be nuts in the tier. And then they're like, yeah. Turns out Mega Glalie wasn't that good. <laughs> and, like, yeah, so RU's one of those tiers that I feel like just doesn't get a whole lot of attention. So maybe I'll make some more RU videos uh, from here on out. But anyways, guys, I'm going to win that. That's going to leave me at 1372 ELO. I'm only getting... You can tell that the ELO is compressed so much differently in the RU tier, because I got plus six for winning that game if i was an ou and i'm in the 1300s i mean i'm getting like 20 points a game so and i have a 70 percent win rate with this with this account so that's i'm getting up there in elo i think the top guy in uh in ru right now is like 1800 or something so like i said maybe i'll make a run at, at the top ranks in ru but anyways guys <laughs> without getting too much off on a tangent that's my video for today Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, I, I really don't set it up so that I purposely only upload wins. I do lose games. I promise you guys, I lose games. I just haven't recorded any of them. But uh, anyways, guys, you know, hope you liked the video. Question of the day. Uh, before I forget, let that get away from me. So my question of the day is, what Pokemon do you really miss that got power crept out of the game? So today I talked a lot about Shaman, and honestly, I do miss Shaman. I miss him and I don't, because I'm sure if you went all the way back in time, if you went like five years back in time and you asked John, you know, high school John, what he thought about, would I be in high school still? No, I'd be like early college then. So if you want like six years back in time and you ask high school John what he thought about Shaman, he would have said it was total cancer that was destroying the game. Mostly because he was salty, but when <laughs> salty whenever he'd get hit with a uh, with a special defense drop from from that uh, seed flare. And then if you ask fifth gen, if you went a year, you went five years back, and you asked you know first semester of college John what he thought about Shaman, that's when they were actually suspecting Shaman. I don't know who thought this was even a good idea remotely. I just remember there's a very small stint in fifth gen OU where Shaman Sky. Genesect and Deoxys defense were allowed and I was just like what are you guys th at least Deoxys defense people is one of those Pokemon that you look at it on paper it should suck and people are always like yeah suspect it's what you do at like the beginning of every generation and then you just realize yeah it's it's got to be Ubers it just has to it's one of those mons that's just not good enough for uh Ubers can't hack it at all in there but it's way too good for OU it'd be in like OU uh, BL if that was a tier but then, like, Shaman Sky, what are you guys thinking? That one has Serene Grace and Air Slash and an Insane Speed tier. 
and and same with the seed flare you could just like catch stuff on the switch with the seed flare and drop it two stages like 60 percent every time Ugh. thankfully those days are behind us same with genesect I, I don't know genesect i feel like he's been suspected a few times and it was just it's just never gonna happen <laughs> that's a mon that actually works in the uberist tier sometimes so there's no way he's getting gonna uh be in any way shape or form balanced for the for the ou tier but you know what <laughs> go on this huge tangent anyways you know shaman is is definitely one of those mons that kind of got power crept out of the game that's definitely the one that i miss the most probably only because i remember he had a pretty linear play style you really outside of like you would see some leech some sub leech seed action going on you had stuff like i know sometimes they would use life orb and then like uh earth power and maybe psychic as a coverage move but it was usually like one or two powerful sets he had. But I really did like those days of like solid grass, mono grass, mono water types that really were uh, functional within the metagame. Nowadays, it seems like it's just not enough to hack it anymore. You know, plain water used to be seen as excellent typing. Nowadays, it's it's actually not a good thing. You got to be like, you have to be like water and poison, like like Toxapex. Or you need to be like water and fairy like tapu finny just plain water isn't enough to hack it and same with plain grass so you know shaman's mine and then also like a, a close second would be metagross you know that's steel psychic typing even i saw earlier today people were discussing on the stunfisk reddit about how um you know jirachi jirachi used to be like the king of ou and a lot of that was due to the amazing psychic steel typing and once they took out that that ghost slash dark resistance which gave them a nice neutrality they just dropped in usage, and nowadays, like, Jirachi's at the bottom of the usage charge for OU. I wouldn't even be surprised if at some point during the uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon life cycle, we saw Jirachi drop down to UUBL. I mean, we already saw it happen with Hoopa, and last generation, Hoopa was Uber, <laughs> and now he's a UUBL. So, like, I could, I could definitely see that happening. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, sorry I went off on a little bit of tangent there. Uh... You know, like I said, I'm, I'm going to come back for, with some more RU, RU videos in the future and maybe even do like a little, a little like challenge to try and gun for the top of the charts. Uh, so anyways, yeah, uh, see you guys later. Rate, comment, sub, peace.